Hey everyone, it's me, Mad Gamer JJWH, and in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the new Tachyon missions in Exotic Gear. Uh, with this update, you can have multiple of the same Avenger, and therefore, like you see here, you can have the Power Ranger Squad, aka the four Hawkeyes. It looked pretty cool. Um, thought I would just throw them in the beginning of this clip, but I mostly want to go through the Exotic Gear. I'm going to be showing you Hulk and Captain America. You're stopping what I can. Ah. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that Hulk is not a weakling. He may not be honorable enough to lift the Mountaineer, but he has the potential to be one of the best Avengers for boss battles with his incredible bone shaker. I hear a lot of backlash on Hulk and how he can't take hits from little guys. And I'm going to show you a way that you can play as Hulk where he'll just be a train that doesn't stop for no one. I also got gear for Captain America that raises his impact r resistance just like Hulk. Uh, so it can be like with the Bone Shaker where you can actually continue your combos. Um, boosting yourself up to 150 without actually equipment like an epic quality just makes the game harder. What I did is I did regular vault missions, got all the legendary equipment to 130, picked out which ones were my favorite and raised them up. Then you want to swap to different characters because they keep everything you equip so you don't want to keep your teammates lacking. I then started going for the exotics with the odd tachyon missions, but eventually I built a team of four that was at least all legendary gear 145. Uh, first that way you can be strong enough to take on the heroic gauntlets. Um, you do need one online player to do a tachyon mission, so your teammates aren't as useful that way, so the tachyon missions are a great start. They also added tachyon missions with power level 100, they do give rare uh, stuff, but the real ones are the ones with the possible chance of the exotic gear. You always want to do those ones. Uh, they come out with, I think, two every day, but I think with the new update, it became three. And as you can see here, I'm just getting my ability for my Bone Shaker. Once I get that, I can start hitting him, dealing damage, and he won't be able to deal any back because pretty much it takes away the getting pushed back but also with that it if you counter it with your R2 and spam your R2 while you're getting attacked it will also heal you so pretty much as you see my health is turning yellow and green and it's healing me but hurting me at the same time so I just am pretty much unbreakable for the whole period of my bone shaker I need access to multiple terminals. My first focus was Captain America. I went through the heroic gauntlet with all my guys with legendary gear, made it far enough. At this point, I was pretty much confident my Captain America would do this. I didn't know it would take as long as it did. Uh, it is where you have to hack the server, so keeping these objectives and fighting off all the guys at the same time can get pretty difficult especially if you're not killing them they can they can really f fast overrun you um, you gotta make sure you keep using your uh, abilities I don't use too many of them here because I'm trying to more so save my strength for when I need it you don't really need it at this one there is a new updated one I don't know if they switch every time I've only done a few of them doing these hive missions for the first time it does get pretty difficult and you're gonna want to make sure your teammates are at least like 148 so they are able to hold their own ground it is kind of annoying when one of your teammate dies and it does take about 45 seconds or so for them to revive but you can't actually revive them yourself you have to wait for them to re like almost respawn um, doing these gauntlets uh, for the second and third times when you actually have exotic gear and you have multiple guys um, that have uh, more exotic upgrades uh, it is easier as it goes on um, they did update it so that way it isn't this annoying hack the server as we're getting overrun here you can see that Thor is having some troubles uh, I don't know if he actually goes down here but yeah I think he does go down but you can't revive them you do have to just continue fighting on hopefully your other guys don't go down this is why I saved my Brooklyn Brawler for last because I can block any move with it so it is very helpful even though Hulk 
is at the point now where he doesn't need to block anything. He can pretty much just soak whatever he wants. Captain America is a little bit more prestigious and like precise about everything, which is really fun to play with Captain America. As you can see, it, it's, it does get overwhelming. So now that we're finished our first vault, I'm going to show you some of the gear that I got. Usually you get two. Um, most of the time it does end up being two uh, heroic gears, which are the bottom one you see there. Uh, the odd time, it could be like a defensive gear. Um, but mostly I just do tachyon missions to keep up uh, and then fill in the odd one that needs filled in. Um, I'll show you some upgrading here. As you can see, some of the stats, like the proficiency and valor, also gets increased. So you, that's the whole difference. It might show that you have less stats with having your 140 legendary, but I'm going to show you Hulk getting into some smashing here with Maestro. Uh, what happens here is I just have my legendary gear. There's nothing special about it. It's just my Bone Shaker ability. I'm going to show you eating him up, just taking no for an answer. Just taking no damage. Now you see my bone shaker's worn off. Instantly you can see the difference. But I'll get him with a Hulk smash here. Keep going in, work on those heroic orbs. Uh, by being enraged and using your attacks with Hulk, it also gives you a heroic boost. So I often do that R2 and hold triangle and slam and will gain my rage and more heroic ability. But I didn't need my bone shaker there, I just finished him off. We got some Hawkeye's arrows just finishing him even more. That's what he does in the story. Hulk is probably one of the best for staying in one spot, as you can see. I can just take out a whole wave of guys, get all those orbs, hold this down, take no damage. I'm all good. Nothing's going to take me down. One thing you do have to worry about in the Tachyon missions is your time. Luckily I have a Thor here that's going around getting all the time that we need while I just hold this position until I get to the 100% and can unlock the elevator and proceed through the mission. So it is nice being Hulk. You can pretty much stand wherever you want, conquer an area, doesn't really matter how many guys there are, he attacks in huge waves where Hulk and, or sorry, Hawkeye and Captain America, they single out guys more so. There's that one heavy attack that Hawkeye does with the tornado, one of my favorites. It's very effective and pretty much it, it matches some of Hulk's moves up to like, if I were to smash all right here, Probably all the damage that comes from that is probably the equal amount about a Hawkeye Tornado. Captain America, on the other hand, he doesn't have too many super strong uh, defensive abilities. Um, it pretty much is just down to his Jarvis Barrier that I have for him now, and using my Brooklyn Brawler at the right times to deflect as many enemies as I need to. Once they're deflected, they're also taunted, so I don't know if I get abilities or heroic uh, stuff with him, but they're still taunted so you get way more impact resistance and that's what also is a good thing when you taunt people is the impact resistance with this Hulk. Um, working on getting some of the gear, but what I ended up getting was a Planet Cracker uh, heroic equipment and so what it did was it gave enemies 20% more damage if they were taunted and eventually I go on to the heroic gauntlet and start once I had that one legendary that kind of boosted me up I boosted that to 140 I had that ab those abilities and that made everything even easier I did almost all the levels with Hulk pretty much before this and so doing the 8th floor I had no problems I got that exotic gear and I was like ah, I could take this on no problem we'll do the 8th floor here in a second it's the new updated version so I don't know if it is changing every time there's a heroic gauntlet or if they just change them up every time. I have no idea if it's random, but 
on this update I ended up facing just six guys sorry five um, but what actually happened is it doesn't really matter how many guys are attacking Hulk if they're close enough to him and they're taunted with his bone shaker they're not going to be able to do as anything as long as you're spamming that R2 button and keeping that health regeneration going on and then you do that um, Hulk clap and that Hulk clap usually finishes them off get those orbs but the taunt it only lasts so long so that's why you want to get the the kill in just before the taunt ends collecting all those orbs so that way the next level I'll have all my abilities and it's a thunder clap not a Hulk clap Must be defeated. Every time I enter a room, especially this one, I always take out those turrets right at the center. They are annoying and usually your CPUs don't attack them, so they'll just drain their health for no reason. You want to keep them out of the way. This is a spin synthoid, so they'll de drain your special abilities, so you want to take them out as quick as you can. I don't know if a parry will stop the drain of heroic orb, but I'm pretty sure you won't take the damage, so I, w I wouldn't test that. Just dodge those spin th synthoids. We'll take this guy out here with a good smash. You can start off by pretty much with a finisher with that on heavy guys with his with his stranglehold bone shaker to keep up that uh, everything. Just just keep tanking. Now that we're all clear, finish row gauntlet eight. I'm gonna show you some of the equipment that I got I already had the planet cracker for his heroic slot so pretty much it was these the not nanites of the storm I ended up getting also that other arm that you saw there I think that's the ranged uh, here's me upgrading them all so my stats are completely higher than uh, I would with a legendary set legendary sets you usually have three stats over a thousand but it's it's pretty pricey as far as upgrade modules to keep upgrading your legendary gear and stay at 150 so I recommend just keeping just below but as long as you have effective gear like here I'm doing just my Thor you saw him die in the beginning he needs some tachyon missions and I think this no this is actually the vault but I think this is just with legendary gear and he's doing pretty okay he, he's not like Hulk where you can just take them all out in one special so it, it, it still shows that the game is challenging it, it's not too overpowered but once I get his heroic uh, I think it was frost damage plus 20 percent so I got a thing for his heroic slot and his range and also that spin move you just saw there that's also ice so I really am going all ice damage with my Thor now. I think you'll see some gameplay in the future here. We'll just take out this last guy here. I'll show you another Tachyon mission. I am much stronger in this Tachyon mission. I have all the ice damage and this is the Hero Gauntlet 7. I was working on it um, I think two weeks ago so it, it was a newer one. I then show you 8 with the Hulk I wanted to get Hulk all finished up. He has 4 out of 4. After this mission, I had Thor 4 out of 4. My Cap is still 3 out of 4 exotic, as well as my Hawkeye and my Black Widow. But right now, I have a really good set of 4 teammates that I can use during the Heroic Gauntlets. So it makes them a breeze. It'll only make getting Kamala and Kate Bishop and Iron Man who I've neglected. They've all been just sitting at 140 and legendary gear. My favorite is probably Hulk and Hawkeye for effectiveness and, and range for Hawkeye. He can be pretty effective by not moving very much. Hulk, you more so have to go towards the enemies. Hawkeye is kind of the opposite. You stay away from the enemies, do damage away from them, and maybe the odd tornado to get up the cosmic damage whereas Hulk I always want to be up close personal with everyone um, I ended up running across this glitch I don't know how I ended up equipping my major artifact as a weapon 
it doesn't do any extra damage I noticed but it's just there in my hand it looks like I have a cyborg arm it's actually the uh, the attacktagon I think it's called it gives you the 10 might whatever it's that thing it's a major artifact I don't know it's not even a gear that you equip even gear doesn't even show up as your guy but I finished this mission here it's the newest tachyon mission uh, but I hope that does it all for you guys Hulk is not a weakling and if you haven't already please like and subscribe uh, it will show that the Avenger videos will be doing better if you guys have any questions please comment I could put it in the next video anyways have a good day